Hi. I wanted to talk about how to how to take bearings out from their place. As far as I know, this is a press fit bearing or interference fit bearing. But if I'm wrong, excuse me. And I am sure that there are plenty plenty videos out there. But I just wanted to talk about my experience. For for very short, how do we take them out? We use, in general, we use socket wrenches, so sockets uh, from a socket wrench set. The reason we use them, if you are busy with this kind of things, it's certain that you have a socket wrench set. And you choose the size which uh, matches your bearing, and then you just hammer it from behind. This is why we use a socket wrench. But to be honest, how the, the the method you use to take a, a bearing out is really up to you, unless unless you don't damage the the bed the bed it sits on, you can take out however you you wanted to. But it's very important that when you fit the new bearing inside, you can only do it. You should only do it from the the outer outer race of the bearing you should not hammer it from the center that's very important otherwise if you do it from the center if you sit if you place the bearing from the center from hammering from the center you will certainly damage the bearing and you can use WD-40 perhaps it has no as advantage, perhaps it doesn't do any good, but, but I use because I am sure that it doesn't do any harm either. So when I take a bearing out, I use WD-40 to, to lubricate the, 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 the area between the bearing and its bed. I don't know how to explain it, excuse me. And yeah. The key point is the the usage of feet, and it was what I was doing a mistake. the The thing is, you need to apply a high a high heat for a short duration. The reason you just want to expand the aluminium, the the metal around the the bearing. In in this case, that is aluminium. But it may not be aluminium in for in your situation. What I was doing wrong, I was thinking that I because I was using a heat gun uh, and because I wasn't using a propane torch, I was thinking that the heat I was applying wasn't enough. In this case, actually, I was applying too much heat for too long. Then I was heating everything, and that means everything is expanding. So. You should use a high you should use high heat for a short duration and it should be focused. Uh, this is why I said propane is better because you can focus it much better. It has much more heat and you can apply it for a short duration. So the last thing is about the heat, short duration, high heat and keeping the heat uh transmitted to the bearing the minimum to keep it as cool as possible that's all i can say about it for now and thanks for watching